Hi, I'm Patrick Sullivan. This is Recurring Insight. And for this episode, I'm going to be talking about Armageddon. Armageddon is an interesting one to me, and it isn't just the conversation about land destruction or mass land destruction, though that's certainly part of it. Uh, it's early exploration of symmetrical design space in Magic's first set. And there's a conversation about the sanctity of the draw step and keeping the game interesting before it ends. You can't talk about the card without the land destruction element, of course, as well, but I think Armageddon's an interesting design to explore, even ignoring that. An interesting element of Alpha is the high volume of symmetrical designs. It's just off the top of my head. Armageddon, Wrath of God, Balance, Stasis, Time Twister, Wheel of Fortune, Mana Flare, Winter Orb, the list goes on and on. There's actually too many for me to even recall off the top of my head. And Armageddon is interesting in two respects. You can either get ahead on the table, typically with cheap cards, and cast Armageddon and then kill your opponent, or you can accelerate to it using artifact mana, and then you have mana left over to operate after you've cast Armageddon. Or you can do both, and Armageddon has showed up in both contexts. I think Armageddon suffers from a couple of problems besides just the rate. One is, I think the symmetrical designs are broadly more interesting when you have to play them and then play the game out with it in play, rather than just picking a moment in time when it's optimized for your circumstances. I think a design like Winter Orb, though problematic in different ways and maybe more problematic than, than Armageddon, at least has the experience of having to cast it and then play the remainder of the game with both players under that sort of symmetrical circumstance. Armageddon Wrath of God is much more of a snapshot moment, and so breaking the symmetry is a little bit less challenging. The bigger problem that I have with Armageddon is it's just not that interesting to play the game in its aftermath. It's more problematic than it just being a land destruction spell. But often when Armageddon gets cast, the game is determined from both ends. And something that's really fun about Magic is your draw step giving you the promise of changing your circumstances even when things are looking bad. And Armageddon, when your opponent is ahead on the battlefield, often means that, that even if you could stack your deck, you can't get out of this. And that's where I think it's very different from Wrath of God. Those cards are often brought up as mirrors to each other. They appear in the same set. They cost the same amount of mana. They're both very powerful. Wrath of God often produces games that are very interesting to play after it gets cast, even when it's powerful. And the same thing is not true about Armageddon. So even setting aside the land destruction part of it, even setting aside blanking someone's hand, those are all really bad. I think the fact that it frequently makes the draw step no longer something that either player has any emotional investment in is the most problematic dimension of the design. I, I think there is something interesting about presenting people with symmetrical designs, particularly in the first set, and Armageddon had, did actually succeed on that front. Uh, I was around during Revised and built a lot of decks both around Savannah Lions and Mana Artifacts, trying to break open that card. But I think the fact that the card is so powerful and so dispiriting in the spots where it is powerful means that Armageddon is correctly relegated to older formats and nothing really close to it has been printed in standard in, in many, many years. So again, that was Armageddon and this is Recurring Insight. A couple of things you can do from here. Make sure that you're subscribed to the Sarsi Games YouTube page so you get notified when this and other content gets uploaded. Uh, throw a like and a comment up there as well. I am at the point now where I'm gonna go and do a couple of reviews here of a couple of you who have been very repetitive in the comments. I wanna reward that diligence keep pumping the algorithms, keep requesting the cards. I'll get to them in time. I got a lot of requests. I can't promise it'll be quick, but if you just keep boosting those numbers, I promise you I will get to them as soon as I can.